All right, I'm going to demonstrate some points about these different angles, the approach, the breakover, and the departure angle. And I've rigged up two very rudimentary vehicles. This is the long wheelbase truck, and this is the short wheelbase truck. Both trucks have the same... Um, this one goes this way. Both trucks have the same approach angle of 68 degrees and departure angle of 46 degrees, but because this is a shorter wheelbase, it has a bigger breakover angle of 69 degrees. Cool. And I'm touching on my breakover angle. My breakover angle is 42 degrees. My slope that, I'm, that I've climbed and broken off of is 50 degrees, and so no, I hit between my two wheels, I hit the bottom of my vehicle. Cannot make it up without high centering. So I haven't crested the hill, I've just broken over the hill, and that's why it's called a breakover angle. And with the 42 degree angle, I'm limited by my breakover angle. It's less than my slope. So I cannot climb, I cannot leave a hill that is steeper than my breakover angle. I know that I have a 68 degree angle on the front and the slope's only 50, so I know that I can get up that without touching, you know, there's no, there's no touching by the front of my truck. But am I going to be limited climbing this slope by my 46 degree departure and to climb it? Obviously we can begin to climb it, right? It's not touching. Go up, go up. Now, as we continue to climb this hill, what's happening in the back? Uh-oh, I'm rubbing, and I'm not at the hill. So, that demonstrates that I cannot climb a hill which is longer than the wheelbase of the truck if the hill is steeper than the lower of the departure or the approach angle. So when you're hill climbing, you do need to consider both your departure and your approach angles, not only your approach angle. So I can start up the 50 uh, degree hill, I can break over it, and I can start my rear wheels up it, and I don't ever touch 